Let's investigate the behavior of this equation a little more. So, like before again, I'm just going to play around. I'm going to simplify this a little bit. And, I mean, we have a square root of x squared. I'd really love for those to cancel, but they can't really. But we can factor the inside in kind of a funny way. So f of x is the square root of x squared plus 1, which I'm going to write as x squared times 1 plus 1 over x squared. Now if I multiply back in the x squared, this is going to be the same equation. But now, square roots distribute over multiplication. So this is the square root of x squared times the square root of 1 plus 1 over x squared. Well, square root of x squared, that's absolute value of x, times the square root of 1 plus 1 over x squared. Now, what is this going to do when we take the limit? Well, in the limit, the absolute value of x is just going to look like absolute value of x. But this square root 1 plus x 1 over x squared, this is going to look like 1. This is going to go to just the number 1. So our behavior at, at plus or minus infinity looks like absolute value of x. So this means we have slant asymptotes. So we have slant asymptotes. We have two of them. We have y equals x and y equals minus x because the absolute value looks like y equals x when we're positive and it looks like y equals minus x when we're negative. And as a consequence, well, really the definition, the limit as x goes to infinity of the square root of x squared plus 1 minus x, well, this is going to go to 0. And if we wanted to show this, we would do this exact computation. And the limit as x goes to minus infinity of the square root of x squared plus 1. Well, we can't put in a minus x. That's certainly not true. But we can subtract off, well, as we're going to minus infinity, this slant asymptote is minus x. So minus a minus x and this will go to 0. So this function has two different slant asymptotes, a different one on each side. And we see that as we go to infinity, really only this, only absolute value of x matters. So this allowed us to easily see where these slant asymptotes were.